In this task, you'll stylize the data that will be used to design a map of the lower 48 states. We'll focus on selecting the fill colors of the states and the line color and thickness for the state boundaries. So here I have QGIS desktop open and I've got the USA states shapefile loaded and I'm zoomed in tight to the lower 48, which is going to be the focus of this map for this task. And I'll start by styling each state. And the general strategy here is going to be to randomly assign each state a color from a color ramp that I like. I'll then set the line color and thickness and finally change the state colors where they are too similar to their neighbors. So to begin, I'll open up the layer properties for this layer and make sure I'm on the style tab. Instead of a single symbol renderer, I'm going to choose a categorized renderer and I'm going to use the column name as my classification column. I'm going to choose a color ramp and I'll choose spectral and finally I'll click classify and click OK. I now have a colorful map of the lower 48 states with each state having unique color. While this color ramp generally produces a pleasing set of colors, there are multiple problems with the map that we need to address going forward. First, while the black state outlines are generally reasonable, they could be thickened a little to really set each state apart and make each state's color pop. Second, there are multiple instances of neighboring states that share too similar a color. This is a problem because neighboring states of similar colors may be perceived as a single state or a pattern may be perceived to exist where none exist. We should change the colors to avoid both of these problems. Third, the red colors tend to dominate the map and distract the eye towards a few states. If the reds were used on smaller states, it might not be as distracting. However, in our case, some of the larger states have too strong of a red color. We'll need to tone down the reds to bring them into parity with the other colors on the map. And fourth and finally, the map is not projected to a reasonable map projection for the purpose of this map. We'll defer to dealing with this problem until lab two, where we'll choose the appropriate map projection. I'll begin to address issue number one by choosing a new line thickness for the state outlines. So I'm going to reopen the layer properties for my layer. I'm going to use this symbol button, select simple fill, and this will allow me to change the line thicknesses for all the classes simultaneously. Right now the border width is 0.26. I'm going to bump it up to 0.4. The border color is black, which is good. So with that I'll click OK and click OK. And now the state outlines are looking better. Let's deal with the neighboring states with similar colors and with the very red states. I want to change the colors of five states. Illinois, Florida, New York, Alabama and Arizona. So let's start by considering the states bordering Illinois. All three of these states have a similar orange color. In fact, even Kentucky has a similar color. So I'm going to want to change the color of Illinois to break up that orange pattern. Since there's no green states near Illinois, I'm going to use the color for Texas and apply it to Illinois. So I'm going to reopen up the layer properties and scroll down to find Texas. I'll right click on it and choose change color. And I'll see that the RGB values for this green are 123, 187, 172. Now I'll scroll back up to find Illinois. I'll right click on it and choose change color and apply that same RGB value 123, 187, 172. Click OK and click apply. And now Illinois has its own distinct color from its neighboring states. In the lab, you'll repeat this procedure for Florida, New York, Alabama, and Arizona. And in the next task, you'll work on labeling the states.